It's a bit too heavy. After looking at this one, I'm gonna need to back out of here and go get the chainsaw. So, we are back again. I have the chainsaw on the back. Um, now we are going to cut this one up, get it out of the way, and see how many more are down. Anyway, we'll be back.
down in the woods. So besides those couple of trees down, everything looks like it's not so bad here actually, which is pretty good. We're, uh, all the chairs and everything are still right where we left them. So anyway, we're gonna double check everything, make sure there was no major leaks or nothing, and then, I don't know, we'll go from there, I guess. So while we're here, I sparked up the barbecue. We're gonna have something hot to drink, I think kind of cold it's like eight degrees right now which is freezing for this time of year um, anyway we're gonna we're gonna probably make a little something to eat and have something hot to drink and then I don't know we'll go from there probably go out to the house triple check on that we were already out once obviously to get the chainsaw but everything looked pretty good we don't have any power in Halifax and uh, the wind is still too high for the emergency crews to go out so yeah, we will play by ear how the rest of today goes, but as of right now, not as bad as I was expecting. Not in this area anyway. She's still blowing pretty good though. But everything's right where I left it, which is nice. I did not expect that, I'll be honest. No power back here either, but... You don't need power in the Peppermint Palace. Get the barbecue going for some food. Get the stove started for some heat. No major leaks or nothing. Everything looks good. Everything's still right where I left it, even the bottles that didn't move. So we're all good. Dishes are all where they're supposed to be. Nice. So, making ourselves some coffee and espresso. And she'll make fun of me for the way I say it, because she doesn't like the way I say it. <laughs> espresso. Espresso. Es Espresso, espresso, espresso. I don't know what, whatever you call it, she's making one because that's all she drinks. Um, and we're gonna pack up. Everything's fine here. We got some grub in our bellies, nice and hot. Had the fire on, got warmed up. Uh, grabbing some coffee, and then we're gonna hit the road again. On for some more.
morning. So it is now day two. This is probably a bit of a weird cut um, from yesterday to today, but we didn't do a whole lot of filming later on. Um, we went to my folks' place and got their place cleaned up from the hurricane, which in Bridgewater wasn't that bad. Um, it was relatively good, actually. Just a bunch of branches and some blowdown. So we got that cleaned up uh, in comparison to Halifax, or which was also not that bad compared to Cape Breton and PEI, which were absolutely hammered. I feel so bad for those people, and my, uh, my thoughts and prayers are with them. Hopefully everyone uh, gets their power back soon. Um, I myself am on day two now with no power. I live in a apartment in Halifax and I do not have a generator. So yeah, <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> um, just actually heading out now, some parts of the city have power now. So I went and took an extremely cold shower. Uh, so I am wide awake. <clears throat> and I am headed out to try to find some coffee and a Canadian tire or something that's open that I could get maybe a little camp stove for. Um, we used to have one. It's broken. Didn't know that. So anyway, I got to go try to find a new one. See if there's one in the city, which I highly doubt there's going to be, but we're going to go see anyway. Um, yeah. We'll see in a little bit. So this is the lineup for Tim Hortons. And the store is behind me. It's wrapped around a building and down the parking lot and into the road and split into two different things. People are... People are in uh, lineups all the way out the door. So I guess I'm not getting a coffee from here. I have to find another one. Well, <laughs> I've been to four different Tim Hortons and turns out us Nova Scotians like coffee way more than our booze because them places are packed <laughs> uh I, i'm not getting a coffee right now which is unfortunate because it's kind of what i live off of but um, anyway so does i guess the rest of hrm so right now i am going to go into canadian tire and see what we can find here see if i can find anything to use for the next couple of days by the sounds of it before we get some power. Bayers Lake here appears to have power so we're going to go in and see what we can find. So this is the part where I realize Everyone was way more prepared for this than I was, unfortunately. Uh, looks like most of the stuff I would like to use or need is sold out. Um, so honestly, at this point, I don't even know if it's worth trying anywhere else. I have a feeling it's going to be the same everywhere I go. Um, the amount of people that are out right now panic buying is kind of shocking. Um, I mean, yes, it is inconvenient that we've all lost power. And yes, it is convenient, inconvenient that um, it's going to be a couple of days in some cases. But to panic by this much? Come on, Halifax. Like, really? I bet you there's at least a hundred of you in this city right now that have got stockpiles of these stupid little propane tanks in your garage. I know you do. I know. Uh, anyway, whatever. It's my fault for not being more prepared, but 
honestly, our power doesn't normally go out that long. Uh, we're on one of the main grids at the apartment, so normally our restoration is within the first day uh, because it, our grid supplies a lot of different places. For whatever reason this time, not the case. Anyway, <sighs> after this year, this shouldn't be a problem because I won't be living in the city. Anyway. We are going to attempt to maybe try one more spot and then uh, again maybe try to find a coffee because at this point I'd settle just for a coffee. Trying my luck at another Timmy's. I've been here close to 25 minutes waiting in line. But the lineup is on foot wrapped around the building too and this is away from downtown this is out in Sackville crazy we love our Timmy's so quick update against my better judgment I am continuing to search for supplies but in that quest to find supplies which I still not have done I did manage to locate a coffee <laughs> so now things are a little better even though they still suck everything's just a little bit better need my coffee anyway I'm gonna enjoy this and then I'm gonna head in this Canadian tire and see what we can find how about the same here so I don't know if that was a waste of time or not did find something. So like I said, we did find something. It's not the best. One of those little backyard stoves, backwoods foot stoves. So anyway, and I have a butane kit. Let's see if I can at least get a little bit of hot water at the house. Maybe just to do some dishes or something. I don't know. It's not ideal, but right now nothing is. So I'm going to head out from here and might take a run downtown and just see how everything's going downtown. So this is the majority of what you're going to see in Halifax is a lot of downed trees.
So, crews are everywhere downtown here, which is good to see. Nova Scotia Power is out in full force, uh, along with the tree clearing crews. Uh, there's a lot of streets closed, a lot of people downtown here in the south end. So, we are going to work our way out of here and get out of everybody's way, because it looks like there is a lot of uh, looky-loos. And... I don't want to contribute to the congestion that's down here, so we're going to get out of here. So we're just back home now, and to uh, my surprise, they're on the road working. Very happy to see that. Hopefully that means I'll have power back here soon. Doing a good job clearing the lines. Looks good. Very excited. Anyway, for now, we're going to call that a video on our personal side of things and we will start back up tomorrow morning heading back to Sheet Harbor to continue on that path for Nova Scotia Power and wherever else they need us so stay safe everybody
our thoughts and prayers are with you in Cape Breton and PEI, as I know you got hit a lot harder than we did, so. Thanks.